Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Doug Profit and all new this 30 minutes. The statewide mask mandate in Indiana aims to flatten the Hoosier State's COVID-19 curve. Cases jump by more than 500 today. The latest numbers you see right here, bringing them closer to 63,000 total cases for Indiana. Three more people have died from the virus. Abby Lutz is talking to Clark County health officials about keeping residents and visitors safe with the new mandate. It's no longer an option. Indiana's mask mandate went into effect Monday. Face coverings can and will help us blunt this increase. But Governor Eric Holcomb stripped his order of any criminal penalties, which some say could make enforcement more difficult. Our citizens have been very responsive uh, throughout COVID-19, so hopefully they'll listen to us now that you know, when we say that more aggressive means is are, are necessary. Clark County Health Officer Eric Yazel says Clark County has seen an uptick in hospitalizations from COVID-19. I do think the data is there to support making a, uh, a more aggressive decision like a mask mandate. He says the mandate could help to keep struggling businesses open and is asking Hoosiers to not just comply, but to be respectful. We will not stand for, you know, people being verbally abusive to businesses and things like that. For the health department here, enforcement will come after seeing consistent issues. If we see a certain business is consistently not enforcing the uh, the mask mandate or you know we are getting multiple calls about a, an individual um, then you know we would obviously first approach it from a from an education and you know cooperation side of things. In Floyd County a mask mandate isn't new. The health department launched their own mandate days before the governor's took effect. The intent was to try to stop the increase in the number of cases and also to make it safer and get children back to school. Floyd County Health Officer Thomas Harris says the positivity rate for COVID-19 in Floyd County has risen over the last month from 1.5 to 8.3. Wearing a mask is our you know, go-to weapon to prevent the spread. Floyd County's mask mandate is in effect until at least September 11th. Harris says it's meant to educate and encourage the use of face coverings. I really think people need to, to stay in the game. You know, they need to continue to wear their masks. They need to continue to practice social distancing and you know, they need to continue you know, good hand sanitation. Both Clark and Floyd County Health Departments are asking any business or individual struggling to enforce the mask mandate to give them a call. I'm in Floyd County, Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.